Hey guys, uh, this is Jeff Waller. I'm going to be teaching the 96 course that you're signed up to take starting in a little over a week. Um, I wanted to show you real quick uh, what Canvas looks like. Um, yeah, you can access Canvas through the Grossmont website. I'm almost certain that most of you guys have logged into Canvas before now. Uh, let me know if that's not true and, and if you need a little more basic help than, than what I'm showing you right now. Um, but you log in, you will more than likely start at your dashboard. Uh, it'll have all your courses listed and here's all my courses I'm teaching or am in somehow. Um, so this is it. Let me become a student real quick so you, it'll look exactly like it should for you. Uh, I've got a few announcements. Uh, information about the textbook, information about scanning apps to use. I want your work done on paper and I want it scanned. These are some possible apps. You can use another one if you know and if it's a good app I, I kind of want to add it to my list here. My list is growing. Um, you'll scan it and then you'll submit it through Canvas uh, and then I can uh, grade it and you, you'll be able to see the feedback through Canvas that I put down on your, on your, um, on your work uh blah blah anything else i do have a, a video up here already from last semester about how to view the notes that are right on your assignments whatever feedback i give you uh again i'm almost certain most of you guys know how to do this but just in case you have no idea how to access the notes i put on graded work that will show you uh this is really just about how this uh, ert kind of course works if there are times listed in the schedule your teacher can only require synchronous meetings during those times. Um, hopefully most teachers understand that. Last semester there were a few that didn't seem to understand that. So I wanted my students to, have, to know I was there to back them up uh, in case the professors were asking them to be there when the professor had no right to ask them to be there. So hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody here. Uh, you can look down here. There's a kick-ass little nifty fractal thing here. Uh, some uh, basic information. There's links to this stuff here and there's links to the same stuff in here. So there's the announcements we just went through. Uh, this is a student services <clears throat> sheet. They created it last semester, but it's, I, I haven't seen any updates yet. This would all still be relevant. These are just how to access these different services Grossmont offers in the virtual situation we find ourselves in. Uh, let's see what's good to look at next. Uh, the modules is where most of the stuff you're going to go find, uh, most of the work you're going to do, most of the work you're going to turn in. There's, this is where you're going to go to turn it in. Right now, there's not much up here. <clears throat> this will be here. <laughs> and then when, uh, you'll have to, there will be more stuff in this unit that you'll have to kind of work through. Um, I'm going to activate a lot more of this this week. Uh, and the minute more stuff gets activated, I'll let you know. Um, so that's modules is kind of like going to be your go-to place. Um, the syllabus we're gonna I'm I'm gonna make a quick video just on the syllabus later. So I'm not gonna say a word about it right now. Besides what I've already said, and then down here, course summary you can actually find due dates and stuff. You could also find um, from the home page. You'll see your to-do list. Uh, any assignments that have actual due dates will show up here when there are assignments. So of course class hasn't started yet, so well, there's no assignments. Um, the homework timeline sheet, I'm going to talk about that when I make my syllabus uh, video, but basically just shows, uh, oh shit, this is the old one. All right, well, so I'm glad I'm doing this. <laughs> that is from the end of last semester, so I need to update that still, so the, that's good. I'm going to pause for a second, make it, and we're back. Let's see. Let's see if I hit anything else that needs uh, updating. Um, the I, I do post the lectures that we the lectures will be on Zoom, um, and then you can find the recorded lectures on my YouTube channel. That's here, so there's a link to that. Oh crap! Did he do that? There we go. There's a link to that right here on the Canvas page. Uh, let's see. I think I still need it. Yeah, I need to clean this up. This is going to be gone in a minute. This is the old uh, links and stuff. For tutoring, this now has the updated uh, link to tutoring. I have more information about tutoring. I'm sure something has noticed in the modules. Let me let me just stick with tutoring. 
uh, there's even more specific information in here. This link, uh, is it this one? No, it's this one. This link is the one that is also here. So there's multiple ways to get to some of that. Uh, ooh, that's neat. That's neat. That one just, that one didn't show up before. Now I'm curious. Sorry, I'm learning things live. This is where you'll go to look at your grades. Uh, no grades yet. Uh, let's look at what this student support hub is. Let's, oh. Okay. Ooh, look at all that. All right, I didn't even know this is going to be here. Now, this is stuff they've sent out to us before individually. Uh, but this is fantastic. They, I don't think I heard they were getting this together already, but that's awesome. That's good to see. Uh, okay, so let me go back. <clears throat> All right, anything else I want to show you guys here? I think that's it um, for this. This is good. This is about six minutes long. I think that is everything I wanted to show you. Oh, um, you can edit your user profile. There is information about how to edit your user profile. You can set up your notifications so you can be sure to get notified when I post something new or what if I grade something, I think you can get notified. Um, and that is it. Good. All right. Good. This is a nice short thing. I'll see you guys very soon.